today we're looking at Aporia, Beyond the Valley, and this has been released by indie developer Investigate North. Now this game is a puzzle game, and in such it's being compared to such things as Myst and other puzzle games. Now while I do see at least some tangential uh, world where they could be compared, these are really two separate things. Now keep in mind that the game is $16.99 on Steam without a sale, so just keep that in mind as we talk about it and see if maybe this game is worth it for you or not. First, let's talk about some of the things that I really loved about the game. I really like the art style, I like the direction that they went for the art, the game looks very pretty, it is based on CryEngine, so you kind of expect fairly decent graphics, and the team has used the engine well enough that there are very few visual bugs that I ran into or clipping issues. It's a very well-polished game. I also very much like the audio direction. The music in this game, the sound effects, everything that is audio in this game is fantastic. They did a great job immersing you into the game using audio cues, as well as visual cues that tie on top of them. There are points where you're encountering enemies, or you're trying to do puzzles, and the audio is very, very good. There are musical cues in different sections of the map that really lend to the feeling and atmosphere that they're looking to go for for those areas. However, perhaps my biggest like for this game was the story. This game has a very unique approach in that there are no words and there are no uh, text. So in no way is the story conveyed to you in a way that you read or hear. Instead, the story is conveyed through uh, these kind of motion picture, kind of stop animation animations, and other things throughout the world in murals and things like that. So the story is very good, and people could really read different things into the story. There were parts in the game where I thought the story was one thing, and then later on as I kind of explored more of the world, my, my views and opinions changed, but I could see how somebody would get a completely different story out of this game. And I really like that. I think that's a really cool thing. I think it's very unique in the most recent games that have come out that we're not really... We're, we're more focused on the story than necessarily on gameplay. And that's actually a good place to kind of go into some of the things that maybe I didn't like so much about the game. I thought the game was good. For a puzzle-based game, however, there were very few puzzles in which I felt challenged. Now, this does not mean that everybody is going to feel challenged, or it may mean that you don't feel any challenge at all. However, I felt that the puzzles were at least in some ways lacking. All of them were very well done, very well animated, um, they were very well placed into the game. But it just didn't take a lot of effort or knowledge or even trial and error or troubleshooting to get the puzzles to complete. And I think perhaps the best example of this was a uh, water puzzle that's a lot like the game Pipes or the plumber games that you find where water has to make its way from an output to uh, an input and you have to rotate the pipes to get to that point. That puzzle is pretty much copied into this game piece for piece where you rotate certain sections of a pipeline and you try to get to the water to flow to a certain area. Now what I found was that I was able to just work backwards and the, the whole puzzle really only had one solution and as long as you worked backwards from the end where you were supposed to get the water to, there was really no possible way to not get that one solution. There were no alternate solutions or offputs or anything like that, so it didn't really take a whole lot, it was just more time consuming than anything. Now of course all of this was before I actually realized that they actually put the solution on the wall over to the side, but even so, it's not like it was hard enough that you had to go look at this solution that they actually provided for you. The challenges that I found the hardest in the game were the ones that I think weren't actually even supposed to be part of the story. Um, the challenges that I found the hardest all had to do with assembling a stained glass door to just get a special item. 
you could, of course, finish the entire game without ever actually getting that item, so it's more of a side quest. I found the harder things to be part of that side quest, but even so, they weren't really that hard, they were just time-consuming. With that being said, I did like the fact that when you approached a puzzle, that you were able to figure out exactly what you needed to do, even if you didn't know how, you knew exactly what the puzzle wanted from you in a fairly short amount of time without any direct instructions. So the UI UX for this game is actually fantastic. They are able to convey a large amount of information to the player without using any language. The other thing that I will say is that this game, I found it to be short. There are some reviews on Steam where people are taking uh, 6 hours, 7 hours to do this. However, it took me about 4 hours and 15 minutes to complete the game 100%. So I was able to get through the entire thing in about 4 hours and 15 minutes while finding all of the side quest pieces as well. Um, I would have liked to see a little bit more in the game, a little bit more puzzles or maybe even some harder puzzles or like a hard mode or something like that um, to just give it a little bit more content. I understand that the game is only $16, however, I feel like there are other games out there that provide more content or more replayability for less money. There are people who have compared this to Myst, I think maybe in the idea that the graphics are very pretty and it's very exploration heavy. Um, it can be compared that way, but I had always found that the puzzles in Myst were much harder than many of the other puzzle games that are out there. It feels to me like this one has kind of maybe been dumbed down for a larger audience and is more interested in conveying its story in an interesting and captivating manner than actually presenting puzzles to the user. This game is kind of a mix of a puzzle game and a walking simulator with just the kind of elements of puzzle game and more walking simulator than anything. Now with that being said, I actually enjoyed the game. I think it was worth the $16 that I paid for it. Um, I am also comparing that to going out and seeing a, uh, a movie in a movie theater where you may end up paying more than $20 for less than half the time's worth of entertainment, and then probably end up feeling dissatisfied afterwards if this summer's movies are in the indication, so I am okay with that. I may try to go back later and beat my time in this game. I really think that there's a lot of parts that, even though I was... I feel like I was going fast, I feel like I could cut off a lot of time, and I think I could get this down to sub three hours to actually beat it without any serious glitches or anything like that. So it could be an interesting game to kind of go back and just see what your best time could be. Originally I thought there were multiple endings to the game, there are, but there's really not that many, and the variations are actually fairly dissatisfying. I was kind of hoping to see a couple more variations on endings and have them be actual real variations on endings and not just some very small changes. So if you're the kind of person who really likes puzzles, uh, but maybe you just like a very casual puzzle game that you are more interested in the story, if you are a person who just really likes to see your stories or live through your stories instead of read them, I can highly suggest this game. However, if you're a person who really wants to be challenged mentally, uh, then perhaps this is not the game for you. There are, like I said, a handful of puzzles that might take you a couple of tries, but there is nothing that is really brain-bending hard. And that's it for me. If you guys like this review, please hit that like button down below, hit the subscribe button to get a new update every single time that I upload a video, or leave me a comment below to let me know what you thought of the game if you purchased it or if you're going to purchase it in the future. I did actually record all 4 hours and 15 minutes of my gameplay, so if you would like to see me upload chunks of that at a time, since a 4 hour video is way too long if you ask me, then go ahead and throw a comment down below and I will do that. Other than that, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you soon.